The following video will cover some sensitive topics. If you do not wish to stay and watch, please feel free to exit the area and we will alert you when the video is over. Think about it. It is a cultural movement of care. In Texas, we are responsible for one another to hold ourselves and each other accountable for appropriate sexual conduct and actions. In Texas, we care about each other. Think About It is an online educational program that new students are required to complete and educate themselves on the use of alcohol and drugs, sexual assault, and bystander intervention. The Texas State University System and Lamar University are firmly committed to maintaining an educational environment free from all forms of sexual discrimination. In our community, we take care of one another. What happens here, it affects all of us. One is too many. When you choose Lamar University, you choose to be a part of this community. And in our community, we take care of one another. We will not ignore the problem. Actually, we need to talk about it. So we will talk about it. So we're going to talk about sex, drugs, alcohol, and consent. What it is and what it is not. College is a time to learn, grow, and have fun. But fun? without limits can have the wrong impact on your life. Consent can be withdrawn at any time. If at any point you are engaging in sexual activity, if you or your partner wants to stop, it is time to stop. Okay, can I have my phone back now? Uh, no, you gave it to me. But it's mine, I want it now. Yeah, I don't really care. You said I could see it, so why don't you wait until I want to give it back to you. Someone who is incapacitated cannot consent. If someone can't say yes, they are saying no. Hey man, do you mind if I eat this? No? All right, cool. Hey, Cage. What's up? Do you know what happened to my leftovers? Oh, I ate them yesterday. And you didn't think to ask me? I did. You must have been asleep or something. Come on, Cade. That doesn't count. And you know it's That's no cool, bro. Past consent does not imply future consent. If someone consented to something yesterday, that doesn't mean that they want to do that today, tomorrow, or ever again. Why do you always do that? What? Why do you always take my drink without asking? I didn't think it would be a big deal. Every time I ask, you say yes anyways. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you should just do it. What if I didn't want to share with you today? You're right, I'm sorry. Consent to engage in sexual activity with one person does not imply consent to engage in sexual activity with another. Hey, do you want to come with me to the dining hall tonight? Yeah, sure. Sounds like fun. Hey, over here! Hey, I didn't know Jackson was going to be here. Yeah, that's okay, right? I mean, I guess, but I kind of thought it was just going to be the two of us tonight. More than 90% of sexual assault victims on a college campus do not report the assault. The main reasons for that are, the victim is unaware of how to report it, they have a fear of retaliation, and those who are aware of the allegations fail to report it. The Texas State University System and Lamar University are firmly committed to maintaining an educational environment free from all forms of sexual discrimination. Sexual misconduct is a broad term encompassing a wide range of non-consensual sexual activity or unwelcome behavior of a sexual nature. The term includes, but is not limited to, sexual assault, sexual intimidation, sexual harassment, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking. It can be committed by a man or woman strangers or acquaintances, and can occur between and among people of the same or opposite sex. 
The statistics on sexual assault on college campuses are no exception to Lamar University. That is why it is important that we engage all students in this conversation so they can begin to think about it. To think about the kind of experiences they want to have during their college careers and to make the best decisions, it is equally important that we educate students about the support services and resources they have available to them on campus. Lamar promotes prompt reporting of all types of sexual misconduct and a timely and fair resolution of sexual misconduct complaints. Who to report to? Residence Life staff, Cardinal Orientation team members, any professional staff on campus, the Student Health Center, LUPD, a friend, or someone you trust. Staff and faculty members on campus are mandated reporters, meaning they must report something if they are told. How to report. You can report online on the Lamar University website, in person with LUPD, student engagement, or the Human Resources Office. Two of the many resources on campus to help you are the Student Health Center and the Lamar University Police Department. The Student Health Center is a great resource for students. Not only is it a place to come when you're sick or have health questions, but also when you need help. It's a non-judgmental, very safe, welcoming environment for you to share what you're ready to share. Sometimes as students, we face a variety of new problems and challenges, whether it's depression or anxiety, learning to balance work or family with what we must get done with school, Sometimes it's grieving issues or relationship issues. Sometimes there are medical issues that come up which inhibit us from doing our schoolwork. The Student Health Center and their counselors can help in all those areas, as well as give us guidance to other resources in the community if we need them. The University Police Department ensures a safe atmosphere for each person who comes to Lamar University. LUPD provides several types of classes. They offer the CRACE class, which is the civilian response to active shooter events. They also offer rape aggression defense training for females and general self-defense classes for anybody that is interested. Here at Lamar University, we want all students to feel safe and help those around them. Silence or absence of resistance does not imply consent. Not saying no is still not saying yes. Coercion, force, or threat invalidates consent. If someone is in an unsafe situation and cannot say no, that yes is not valid or genuine. Hey, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure, what's up? So, I had my date with Taylor. Ooh, how'd that go? Tell me. Well. I don't know. The date was nice, and he walked me to my door, and he kissed me. I didn't know how to react. And the next thing you know, we're inside. And I wanted to say no, but I just didn't. I didn't say anything. And now I don't know how I feel about it. Rita, what you're describing sounds like you were assaulted. What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You didn't say yes, but... Listen, um, something like that happened to me and it took a long time and a, a lot of help for me to realize that it wasn't my fault. Really? What happened? Well, I went out dancing one night and it was pretty late so this girl offered to walk me home. And I said yes. And then she just started kissing me and she said that it's the least she could do since she's walking me home. I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want her to hurt me, and I couldn't defend myself, so eventually I gave up trying. I felt like I didn't fight hard enough, and I felt like it was my fault because I let her walk me home. But then I realized that I didn't deserve what happened and that I had been assaulted. I'm so sorry that you went through that. Thank you, I'm doing much better now. I got the help that I needed, and I would encourage you to talk to someone and get some counseling. Maybe go visit the Student Health Center because they really helped me. And remember, I'm always here for you. Being intoxicated or under the influence of alcohol, drugs, or any other substance is never an excuse for engaging in sexual misconduct. Being drunk or high is not an excuse to ignore someone's boundaries and limits, 
especially when it comes to sexual activity. Come on, you're not still mad about that, are you? I was drunk and I said I was sorry. Doesn't matter if you were drunk or not. I said no plenty of times and you didn't stop and that's not okay. Well, what can I do to make it right? There isn't anything you can do about it. I, you didn't listen to me and now I don't feel safe around you. Consent is a voluntary agreement or assent to engage in sexual activity. This means that consent is a verbal, enthusiastic yes. Can I kiss you? <laughs> We've been dating for like a year now. Are you gonna ask every time? And every time after that? Then <laughs> yeah, absolutely. At Lamar University, we take care of each other. That's why if you see something happening, remember it is your responsibility to say something. Whether it's calling the resident assistant on duty in the residence hall, Lamar police, a faculty member, or even another student. Here at Lamar, we care about each other and stand up for those around us. You as a Lamar student and potential bystander have the power to make sure things like this don't happen at Lamar University. This is your community and we want you to love it as much as we do. And that is why it's important you know about these risks, about your safety, about keeping others safe, and making college the best experience of your life. <laughs>